50 years ago, it started out as a small community center, Head Start Center, always been central, and it's just grown from there. Sure. I mean, in the last five years, I've seen the operating budget double. You know, we've added a lot of job training programs to our existing programs, so that's been a big part of the increase. We get a lot of people that's, that has been incarcerated they start at the age of 17 to 24. And after they get to 24, maybe they will transfer them over to the adult bill. And when they get transferred over to the adult bill, then that's from ages of 24 and up to 58. Everyone that comes in our program, they have to have a GED. If they don't, we will take care of them getting their GEDs. My role is, I train them in carpentry work, drywalling, roofing, framing, putting windows in, putting siding on, how to lay out, to put a porch on, a deck on. We don't do prefab houses. We call, we, we call them stick houses. We build from, from the ground up. There's no ABC frames and stuff coming into the homes. We're building anywhere from $165,000 house to a $200,000 house. And we're building it with elevators inside for the handicap, you know, make everything accessible. When I was coming up, my father showed me everything I know now. Every portion of construction work, every part of um, contracting work, I brought it upon myself. I, have, I wanted to give a legacy back to the community. Northcott's role in stabilizing the community, part of our mission statement, is really to provide a safe place and a lot of practical, useful, and simple solutions to their everyday problems.